Well, there's no point in having mirrors on it. So, we eventually managed to get it started. It wouldn't go into neutral, so I don't dare take it out now. It's got 136 miles on the clock. That's definitely not right. That can't be right. Okay, so, um, clutch hand's starting to hurt because... Wow, the vibrations are killing my hands. They are seriously killing my hands. Oh! I mean, it looks beautiful. Oh my god! Compared to the um, SYM, I can't feel my hands. Fairly comfortable enough. Yeah, it's only got 35 brakes, there's absolutely no space in the gears. The um, thing is rendered useless. No, it is one of those bikes that I've always had my eye on and I've absolutely really wanted um, donkeys, but I mean, it would be fun. It's a really lent over. I mean, my knees are almost at my elbows. I can. Yeah, I can touch my knees with my elbows. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if this is a particularly badly looked after one, but it's um, the gearbox has absolutely no feel in it whatsoever. You can't tell that you've changed gear. The brakes aren't great. The mirrors don't work. I mean. They look absolutely beautiful, they really do, but it hasn't got a thing on that STM. It's an absolute dog. Is it? Yeah. I've lost feeling in my hands. It's not that, it's the vibrations. There's not too much pressure in my wrists at all. And there's no feel in the gearbox, you can't change it if you've actually gone up a gear. I thought he was on my tail then. Sounds brilliant, looks stunning, absolute dog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nope. No. Problem is, I think because it's single cylinder, yeah. as soon as you let go of the um, thing, you get the engine braking. Yeah. You can feel the cylinder move and suddenly the bike starts going like that. Yeah. Alright, let's ring the garage. Well, I'm back on Katie. Um, yeah, in case you got it from the review, I don't know whether it was because I hopped off such a great bike onto a Royal Enfield, but do not rate it at all, which is a real, real shame. And you know, you could say, well, it's a five grand bike, what do you expect? But I've ridden a five gram bike, I've ridden a five gram retro bike. That was so much nicer. Again, it had, you know, similar CC, single cylinder, a little bit more power, and just better build. I'm really gutted that wasn't as much fun as I thought it was going to be. 
Anyway guys, I'm going to uh, end the review there. Thank you very much for watching. And take care.